Hello everyone, this is CoolPro195 and welcome to my first unboxing video of 2019 and you're probably wondering why the package is already open. Well, as a matter of fact, this happens to be a long overdue unboxing video of an item that I was, well, that I could have unboxed back when I first got it or somewhere around the time at least, but due to wanting to keep a smooth transition of continuity on my channel, I had to leave it until a certain point after some projects were done but I'll get more into detail about that but more to the fact to how the package was already open well I got this around the time when pretty much Amazon were failing to follow protocol or procedure however you want to put it due to like you know shipping the wrong items and shit there were like there had been a bunch of orders around that time like made by others who received the wrong things so I pretty much had to take a safety precaution myself back then, after their long line of multiple fuck ups. And yeah, now I pretty much have the chance to unbox this. And by the way, this is also a special unboxing video, not just by the fact that it's my first unboxing video of 2019, but you're gonna find out soon enough what it's gonna be. For those of you who can see the title, obviously you'll already know. But anyways, now let's get further into this. As I unbox this package, gotta keep the mic steady too, since you know positioning can be a bit of a bitch sometimes. Yeah, camera angle ain't perfect either, but I can never get anything perfect with this setup, so yeah. Yeah, I'll just open it like this just to avoid any like exposure of any, you know, addresses and shit. But yeah. And here we have it, people. The Ava Media Live Game of 4K. A very promising looking capture card. They can see right here, and yeah, you can see, like, I'm looking at my monitor right there, but just ignore that. Well, at least try your best to ignore that anyway, and just focus on the item at. Well, the item at present anyway. Now, to explain the other reason why this is also a special unboxing video, well, as you can obviously see, the capture card, well, the item at present that I'm unboxing right now over here is the live, the Ava Media Live Game of 4K, right? Well, as a matter of fact, today is the day where this capture card itself actually happens to make its first year anniversary. So yeah, this is, this also happens to be a one year anniversary special celebration unboxing video for this capture card itself, the Ava Media Live Game of 4K. and from what I've seen, it's been very promising. Yeah, according to Amazon, it's been first made available on the 4th of June 2018, and today is now the 4th of June 2019, so yeah, it's officially been a year, and I hope those of you who have owned it have been enjoying this capture card. Of course, like, nothing comes without its flaws, but with that being the occasion, I'd like to give a special shout out to EposVox for helping to raise awareness of this capture card alone as it really brought it more well to the audience's eyes in general for those of you who are looking for a top-notch capture card one that can capture 4k at 60 frames per second including hdr which is really sick so originally this capture card costed 249 pound 99 but back then i got it on sale i purchased it back on I purchased it back on the 23rd of November 2018 when it was on sale and I got it for a grand total of only £219.90 which is you know a good portion of money to save considering it's like a very high spec capture card and yeah I'll go into the details of a capture card alone but now to explain the reason why I'm actually doing this unboxing video now especially now of all times and it's not just because it's the anniversary, but also it's because some of you, well, some of you already know that part 26 of my Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Let's Play has been like, it's been in the process of recording and editing for a long time now. And I've only just finished recording and editing everything of that part recently. And for the sake of consistency, I figured I'd finish off recording part 26 of my Let's Play on Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy for the PlayStation 4 with the Elgato game Capture HD 60S, which was the capture card that I've been using for quite some time now, and it's 
basically my last capture card that's actually been the most reliable and the most reasonably up to standard as of modern technology. So I figured I'd finish it off like that and then do this unboxing video in order to keep a smooth transition of continuity going on in my channel, especially in terms of quality upgrades and everything. Especially even taking the step from, well, technically now retaking the step from 1080p at 60 frames per second to 4K at 60 frames per second with console recordings. And some of you have known that I also own the Elgato Game Capture 4K60 Pro, which was working for a time, but ended up going south in terms of performance and pretty much it just wouldn't detect an input signal from neither my PS4 Pro, my Xbox One X, nor the GTX 1080 built into my gaming PC, so yeah, that's fun. And it's nice that this capture card actually came along as well, because not only is it a financially cheaper alternative, but it also seems like a far more promising capture card based on EposVox's review. Along with a few other reviews that I've watched on this capture card. So yeah, it seemed very promising to get. Anyways, now yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for now before actually unboxing this product. Now we can finally get to it. And here we have it people, the AV Media Live Gamer 4K, and yeah, you can see the model number is GC573, but you know, it's really cool. But yeah, anyways, now moving on to the actual box itself, and yeah, it's not a convenient setup in order for me to record like this, but you know, I'll see how I can make this work. Okay, so, yeah, pretty much it's got a nice looking design for the front of the box. Although, like, in a way, I'm not a fan of, or well, at the same time, I don't mind, you know, the, the sort of mirrored effect giving off a reflection. But in terms of, like, my situation, I really, I'm just not a fan of it right now since, you know, I don't prefer to be seen in these unboxing videos. As I just personally want these videos to basically focus on the items at present. And that's just the way it is. You're just gonna have to deal with it. But yeah. But other than that, it looks nice, you know, I like the design, I like the material, it looks really cool, and it captures, like, the capture card itself quite well in terms of, like, its essence and shit, and pretty much it's, like, professing its power, per se, of what it's capable of doing. Anyways, now, like, just to view, like, the contents of a box, here, at the top of here, at the top, it just pretty much showcases its features. Yeah, focusing can be a bit of a bitch for this webcam, for this 4K webcam, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, now as you can see, and as I've mentioned before, it records at 4K at 60 frames per second in HDR, which is pretty much groundbreaking from what this, in terms of what capture cards in general can do. And yeah, there's another... By the way, Ava Media have a brand new capture card as well that they've actually came out with as well, newer than this, called the Ava Media Live Gamer Ultra, which is more or less capable of doing the same things as this, but don't let that fool you because pretty much that capture card just, it gives you the ability to record at 4K, but not at not a 60 frames per second. It allows a 4K 60 frames per second pass through, but not as a but not a 4K 60 frames per second recording feature, which means you can play at 4K 60 frames per second natively, but you can only technically record at 4K at 30 frames per second, which is the limitation that the Ava Media Live Gamer Ultra has. I don't know whether it's to do with its. USB, I don't know whether it's to do with its USB free connection or not because the AV Media Live Gamer 4K, much like the Elgato Game Capture 4K60 Pro, this requires to be connected directly 
inside the PC to the motherboard itself on the PCIe slot so yeah that's pretty much how it's gonna work and yeah but another groundbreaking feature about this capture card as you can see which is the next one right here it can record at 240 frames per second but bear in mind that that is only for 1080p like that is the max you can do with that frame rate that's the max resolution you can record at that frame rate if you want like a nice looking smooth 1080p video so yeah you're gonna get smoother results again it's just one of those situations where like either you get more either you have like a better resolution or better frame rate and yeah another thing not to be confused with the Ava Media Live Gamer Ultra in comparison to the, to the Ava Media Live Gamer 4K is that this one records this one allows you to record at 240, 240 frames per second at 1080p while the Ava Media Live Gamer only allows you to record at 120 frames per second at 1080p which is literally half of this however that's still good but if you really want to go like the extra mile you might as well get the Ava Media Live Gamer 4K unless you actually don't have a desktop PC so yeah those of you who are laptop owners perhaps you're gonna have to wait until you know whichever manufacturer actually releases a capture card that's capable of performing these you know certain features through you you know USB free technology so yeah that's pretty much how it's gonna work and yeah H.265 that's pretty much the video compression that it has which is like the high quality video compression that it offers and yeah I'd pretty much I'd check with EposVox for more detail on that as, he's, as he offers like a very detailed review on that which is really cool so yeah check out his channel it's worth it and RGB lighting effects yeah this is on the capture card itself but it's it's more to do with having a visual aspect on the capture card but it's not really like an actual feature it's just something to make the capture card look nice like while it's you know plugged in and recording while performing whatever it's whatever action it's performing and rec central as you can see rec central is the software that it uses which is really cool from what I've seen I like the interface for what it's worth but yeah anyways that's a lot of the features discussed oh yeah and at the bottom over here you see PowerDirector 15 which is another you know software that it comes with it's pretty much an integrated editing software that it comes with although I'm already using the Steam edition of Sony Vegas Pro 16 well technically Vegas Pro is owned by Magix now and not Sony but yeah anyways but still like it's nice how even though you know a lot of people who most probably are you know into video editing are already using editing software prior to getting this capture card like it's helpful that just in case they actually supply an editing software which is pretty decent. But yeah, it's been some time. And yeah, I'm sorry that I can't get this to focus. And I'm sorry that I can't get a good angle. But, you know, this is the best that we're going to have to work with. It's like, the camera itself. And yeah, the room is pretty much, you know, not big enough for a better setup, unfortunately. So it's what we're going to have to put up with. And yeah, well, at the back here, it pretty much describes the features in pretty much every language that they offer. So yeah, it's pretty much everything that I've already explained is just written out for you. Well, not literally everything I've explained, because I've explained that all in more depth, but you know, it's just... It just gives all the features in bullet points, basically, so like... Nothing too special.
or yeah, the one thing that it states that I didn't mention is a 7.1 or 5.1 surround sound pass through. Which is like, you know, pretty much enhanced sound quality that it offers. Which, you know, like, various previous capture cards were unable to perform. I mean, some of them were, but not all of them, of course. But yeah, anyways. And yeah, the as for the sides of this, it's kind of more of like a visual aesthetic to the box, per se. So yeah, just, it's another way to make it look, you know, more appealing to the eyes. And on this side, I think it pretty much showcases like, the contents of the box itself, like whatever it contains. Obviously, as the capture card, a HDMI 2.0. HDMI cable, which is obviously a high-speed HDMI cable that it uses. Because obviously that's what's required of achieving such, you know, high resolutions. And yeah, pretty much the writing is quite small, so I'm not going to be able to preview this properly without like a decent focus. So yeah. So yeah, it's pretty much the pass-through goes up to 4K at 60 frames per second using... HDR and the capture resolution pretty much supports 480p, 576p, 720p, 1080i, 1080p, 1440p, and 2160p. And yeah, 1440p and 2160p are pretty much 2K and 4K. So yeah, those are the two resolutions that actually have, you know, their nicknames. So yeah, 1440p is 2K and 2160p is 4K those of you who don't know. And the recording format is MPEG-4 and other terms MP4. Which as you can see, and it's a common recording format so it works that way. And the system requirements themselves are Windows 10 64-bit as the operating system for 4K 60 frames per second HDR or 1080p 240 frames per second. It requires the processor of an Intel Core i5, 6th generation or above, with the NVIDIA GTX 1060 or above as the GPU and at least 8GB of RAM dual channel. So yeah, that's pretty much what this capture card offers, which is really cool. Anyways, now to get to the content itself. And here we have it, it comes in a nice black Ava Media box, which actually looks really sick in my opinion. It's a nice little safety precaution, yeah that's pretty much all it shows, nothing special, obviously it just shows everything else around, but yeah. Pretty much, let's get into the contents of this. And you can already see the capture card itself wrapped up in this prestigious seal right here. It's like plastic coating or whatever it is. I don't know, it's been a long day, people. It's been a long day. So yeah, here we have the capture card itself, which is looking really sick. But I think I'll show this like after. I've shown the rest of the contents, but yeah, that's the first thing we see, which is pretty sick. And there's the HDMI 2.0 cable right here, which is really cool. Yeah, the one that actually, the cable that comes with the capture card, as stated. And pretty much everything else that it offers, so yeah pretty much as a thank you. Like they give us the code for PowerDirector 15 product key card right here and obviously this code is going to be used before I even upload this video so yeah for those of you who are even thinking of trying this code don't even bother. You'll be wasting your time.
But yeah, pretty much that's over as to that. Yeah, presumably this is like something to do with health and safety or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know, it's all foreign, but... But yeah, it's been a long day, people. And here we have like the instruction manual itself, or pretty much as they refer it to. They refer it to it as the quick guide for the Ava Media Live Game of 4K. Which is, you know, quite nice. It's nice and presentable. Yeah, pretty much shows you how to. Okay, I think this is like health and safety warnings, but. Like over here. And yeah, pretty much a guide of how to set it up. Like, what to expect and everything. I don't know how many pages this has got, but. I think it has like pages for multiple, la multiple languages, but you know. Yeah, the specifications. Yeah, you guys probably know, so yeah. I apologize for the angles again. I really can't apologize enough for them, but. You know, it's something we'll have to put up with. Yeah, that's pretty much all they have to offer. But yeah, now to showcase the actual contents themselves. Okay, so the HDMI cable, as you can obviously see. Well, they're going to be made use of anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, well, I've got to say, they could have came with covers of them. I think that's what Elgato do. They actually put covers on the ends of the HDMI on the ends of the HDMI cable where, you know, the connector plugs are at. But, you know, that's... But it's it's not such a big problem. It's only, I think that's only just a safety precaution that Elgato take, but... Seems as though Ava Media are brave and bold in order to do it without, you know, without the caps. Such badass as they are. But, yeah. Now moving on to the capture card itself, last but not least. Yeah, ignore that shit, it's been a long ass day. But yeah, not to showcase the capture card itself, because obviously, just seeing it inside, just seeing it wrapped, it's, wrapped inside its material is not enough for the, you know, the authentic viewing experience itself of the item of the item itself at present yeah it's kind of awkward to open it like this but yeah it's quite, it's quite a chunky capture card but at the same time it doesn't surprise me because obviously something capable of doing so much it's you know, it's got to have like a nice enclosure in order to, you know, pack so much power into it. Okay, now the situation is just getting it out. And here we have it. The Ava Media Live Game of 4K. Yeah, this is a nicer way to hold it, which is really cool. And yeah, I don't want this video to be too long, but it is what it is. But yeah, pretty much that's how the enclosure looks. It's got a nice design. So yeah, it keeps it safe, but partially see-through at the same time. So you can sort of see where, what they went with. And over here, pretty much where it has the Ava Media logo. This is where, this is pretty much where the RGB lights are. So pretty much this is an, an LED light that actually switches between the RGB colors, red, green, and blue, so... Like, whenever the capture card itself is actually operating, and like, if you have a see-through glass on your PC case, you know, this is definitely gonna make your PC look far more appealing. So yeah, it'll make it look really sick when you turn on your PC and actually use the capture card itself. And over here, of course, you pretty much see a more exposed exterior surface, like which is no surprise, 
given so many PCIe cards, it's common to be like that. So yeah, you pretty much, you see the chipset right here. Along with everything else. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to show. And yeah, this is a connector right here that actually you know, this part over here, you connect to the PCIe slot on your motherboard, so... Like, that's how you're actually gonna get it to work, just like the Elgato Game Capture 4K60 Pro. So, yeah. So, yeah, laptop users, in order to get as much power as this capture card can produce, in order to, like, you know, use the features at full extent you're certainly gonna have to wait until you know certain brands catch up or Ava Media suddenly make an upgrade for the Ava Media Live Gamer Ultra or perhaps like you know a sequel capture card to that if like at some point they happen to achieve that USB 3 type connection or who knows, they might actually use USB Type-C connection. I think they're using that for the AV Media Live Gamer Ultra, but I haven't looked much into that capture card specifically. I've only looked more into this one, hence, like, you know, this is the one I actually went for, so it makes sense. It's understandable and it makes sense how, like, I know much more about this capture card than that one, so... Yeah, don't at me, people. Don't need a bar of that shit. But yeah, it's gonna be fucking sick. And yeah, here are the two HDMI slots that actually... That are in the capture card as well. That are in the capture card as well. One, obviously one input and one output. So yeah, an input for your consoles or your PC through HDMI and one output to either your TV or your monitor. So yeah, pretty much go out to my 4K monitor or my TV or my splitter that actually splits the signal to the capture card itself and like and the TV itself as well since my TV isn't since my TV only supports 1080p at maximum since I got that TV back in way back in 2013 so yeah that's pretty much everything covered for the Ava Media Live Gamer 4K capture card itself and for what it's worth, as promising as it looks, I really hope it really delivers what I think it delivers, or what I hope it delivers anyway. Especially given to how the Elgato Game Capture 4K60 Pro has fared in my favour in the past. But yeah, hopefully this shall be like my new gold standard capture card to use now, to a point where I won't even have to revert back to the Elgato Game Capture HD60S this time, unless I actually need it for a certain feature or whether it would be useful in terms of live streaming, given how devices can only be used in literally one program at a time, so yeah. Plus, I've seen and heard that the Ava Media Live Gamer 4K actually has better real-time input in terms of actually previewing what it's actually capturing from the console or whatever device you're using itself. With its ultra low latency in comparison to the Elgato Game Capture HD60S. But if that's not the case then the HD60S is definitely something to fall back on in the meantime. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up my Ava Media Live Gamer 4K 1 year anniversary special unboxing video. Happy first anniversary Ava Media Live Gamer 4K. As I've said before, yeah, I hope people have been enjoying this capture card throughout the year of its presence. And hopefully it shall be one of those capture cards that actually hold up in a moment of history. Yeah, it will definitely... And as a matter of fact, if it would be one of those capture cards, it'd definitely be one for Elitist, hence you'll need a powerful PC like mine in order to actually use a capture card like this to like its full extent. Hence I have like a GTX 1080, but yeah. And hopefully at some point in the future, I might actually do a recording test 
of how the capture card itself actually performs with the Ava Media Live Gamer 4K. But anyways, yeah that's pretty much the Ava Media Live Gamer 4K first anniversary special unboxing video. Feel free and be sure to subscribe, like or rate however you want to put it. Drop a comment below to leave constructive feedback if you possibly can and share it around with your friends and family, whoever they may be. And see you lot on whatever's up next on my channel. Until then, laters everyone, peace out.